everyone thank you so much for tuning in to another video uh, today we're gonna talk about Thanksgiving in Nigeria and some other parts of Africa so <laughs> in my apartment complex um, we've had you know quite a few neighbors doing a lot of celebrations whether it's for weddings or for birthdays and you know job promotion different things like that and so they always invite us they cook everyone eat and enjoy themselves so thanksgiving was approaching thanksgiving day was approaching so i told my husband i was like okay since they always do something right so maybe we can do something to appreciate them maybe we can cook and invite everyone over and they can eat and play games and have a good time well there, one of our neighbors is a caterer, so I told her about it thinking that, you know, maybe she can cook. I could hire her to cook the, the food for us at least because I don't really know how to cook Nigerian food, um, you know, and I don't want to cook and they don't eat it. So I wanted to give them Nigerian food. So then she was like, okay, that sounds like a great idea. But then she came back to me and told me it's not a great idea anymore. And I said, Why? And she said, because people will think that you are doing things like this, like you are, you know, some type of witch or you are doing some type of spiritual thing, like retro things. And I said, what? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, because, you know, the Nigerians, the, their mindset, the traditions and things like that, that's what they will think. And I was like, really? And I was like, well, listen, I love Jesus. I only worship and pray to Jesus, to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> um, thank you for telling me, and I will not be doing anything anymore on Thanksgiving. And I said, maybe another time, if I'm doing like anniversary or birthday, then we'll go with that. And she was like, okay, that's better. And I said, thank you. You know, I find her to be a good friend because if it was someone else, they could have let me go on you know, go and do this thing and look crazy. And now everybody would probably be scared for their lives. Um, but anyways, isn't that crazy? So um, Thanksgiving here in Nigeria, they do Thanksgiving, but their Thanksgiving is not like the American way. The way they do Thanksgiving is like, if something they, tragic happened in their lives, um, like, for example, if something happened today in their lives and they made it out alive, the next year on the same day, that person, if they have money, they will do Thanksgiving. They will do it every year. They will do Thanksgiving and thanking God for God taking them out of that situation. The same thing happened in Haiti, in my country. Um, they, they call it, I think, Action of Grace or something like that. But here it's Thanksgiving. So <laughs> that's what they do here. It's not, you know, they go and have fun and eat, but it's for a purpose. So if I went, if I came to bring the American way Thanksgiving to them, they would think that it was ritualistic, like it was something bad, like spiritual connect, connection to something. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I just wanted to cook for you guys and play games and eat. And that's it. But thank God I did not tell too many people about it because people would definitely be looking at me crazy. Um, <laughs> so I found that very fascinating. I think I didn't do any research on whether they celebrate Thanksgiving or not because where my husband comes from, which is Liberia, they celebrate Thanksgiving. So I thought that Nigerians would too or something like that. But what, during my research, what I found out that, what I found out is that Liberians they don't really celebrate the American Thanksgiving. I was led to believe that for a long time. But they, they only celebrate Thanksgiving on the first Thursday of November for freedom. So they have their own uh, reason to why they're doing that Thanksgiving. Um, whereas in America, it's the last Thursday of the month of November so and I know in the States a lot of people they do not some people most people celebrate Thanksgiving but some people do not celebrate Thanksgiving because they feel that Americans are declaring victory um, 
you know, and feasting and eating and enjoying themselves while, you know, millions of um, Indian, uh, the native Indians were, you know, slaughtered or ran from their homes, so therefore they choose not to associate themselves with that holiday. But as for me and my house, we don't really care for holidays too much. I mean, when we were in the States, we cared because, of, ooh, you know, paid time off, you know, like, ooh, <laughs> we get to stay home. Yes. But other than that, um, we don't really care whatever the holiday may be. Even our birthday, we don't make a big deal about it. Um, we're just we just go with the flow that's the way i can describe it we go with the flow so whether i celebrate thanksgiving or not it doesn't do anything to us i mean i miss my family and friends that i used to celebrate with and play games and eat and eat and eat and laugh and talk and play games i miss them but the holiday itself it it doesn't really do anything to our family it didn't change it was it didn't make us sad as a matter of fact (laughs) um on the saturday after thanksgiving we had a wedding to go to so i just took that thursday i didn't even think it was thanksgiving until someone texted me happy thanksgiving so anyways i took that thursday and i went and got a few things i needed for the wedding um that's what i did i went street shopping okay i got my shoes <laughs> i got my children's shoes my husband's shoes everything i just went shopping um and i enjoyed my day i had fun and nobody thought that i was a witch nobody thought that i was <laughs> doing retro stuff by shopping so it was a plus for me <laughs> because um i do not associate myself with those things Jesus, 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 Jesus is the way to go. So that's what happened on my Thanksgiving day. I hope that you enjoyed your Thanksgiving um, if you celebrate it. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope that you had a great day. So thank you for tuning in. (laughs) Have a good day.